been a while. Oh goodness, I think my face got fatter. Okay. You got the dual angle view today. And that's special. Alright, let's put this on. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah, mm. Oh. Hello, allergies. God, this bike is filthy. I got water all over it last time from my my rig there. What's the temperature? It's only 80 right now at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Not bad for a guy with a broken leg. Okay. I got all my stuff. Greetings, YouTube. Remember me? Remember me? This is my Kaylee 7. Boy, I haven't done this in a long time. I wonder what my tire pressure is. Hmm. 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 find out soon. 38. 35. Not terrible. Within tolerable range. Today's video is brought to you due to the inspiration given to me by Road Reality. Hey John, this is your fault. Oh yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. So, uh, let's see, what's going on? Well, I've been working my butt off, and as you may have noticed, in your own area, it's uh, hotter than Satan's sphincter out there, or out here, generally. The temperature is in the 90s every day, and the heat index is in the hundreds. And, uh, Mikey no likey. Mikey no likey. No, 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 no. Not to mention that it was raining off and on every day. And not your simple showers. I'm talking, you know, major thunder boomers and hail storms and stuff. And in that regard, parking the bike outside is a non-starter. Bikey no likey.
so I, uh, you know, took the truck every day, which also was nice because I could put my saxophone in the truck. So, um, basically I've been doing, uh, let me see, work, which is, you know, 10 hour days, Monday through Thursday, uh, generally 8 a.m. to uh, 6.30 p.m. I think that's what it's been. 8, 8.30 to 6.30. And at 4 p.m., I sneak over to the, the stage. There's a stage classroom near me. Uh-oh, I just lost my strap. <laughs> oh, well. Hang on a moment here, folks. I don't want to crash trying to fix this stupid thing. I thought that might have been a bit too tight. So let's see. What is Mike going to do? Just like that. There you go. That should be fine. Oops. So from 4 to 6.30 or so, depending on how busy it is, I uh, sneak over to the music room, the big stage, and I take out my saxophone and practice for an hour or two. And I think I'm making progress. I'm able to do all the major scales and even a couple of relative minors and a couple of tunes I've, I've been working on. One from a, a song by Morphine called I'm Free. And another one from a, a French band called Les Negres Vertes, which uh, I don't even try to translate that. But if you're interested, it's Les Negres Vertes, and it's called La Valse. And so I play both of those one better than the other but I'm practicing trying to get better it's hard because you know I work and I'm tired and when I'm at home I don't feel comfortable practicing unless she's not there because you know, she has to endure a baritone saxophone I also got a tenor sax and that's pretty much the same as loud you know saxophones are not quiet So, uh, some bad news for you. I sold the Kawasaki. Uh, GB winging it was, was very good in encouraging me to do what I felt like doing. And so, I fell in love with the tenor sax. And I, I bought the tenor sax. And to, to pay off the tenor sax and to, to stop riding that Kawasaki, which was very dangerous... I, uh, I sold it to a company called Rumble On. The paperwork was a pain in the neck, but uh, they came and got it. I got my money, and I'm happy. And I didn't ma I didn't lose very much. Basically, I spent what was it, fifteen hundred dollars for a year and three months of ownership, not including registration and gas and all that, but. <laughs> That's not half bad. That is not half bad. Bought it for 16 and sold it for 14, essentially. Oh man, I missed this. This is this is nice. This is a little bit of heaven right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look into your corner. Oh, I'm scraping. <laughs> So, bye-bye, Kawasaki. Hello, tenor saxophone. And if I hit a wrong note on the tenor saxophone, I'm not going to crash and die. So, hooray for me. I still have my bass guitars. I'm still playing them. I'm still taking lessons, and so that's awesome. It's basically my happiness lately. 
because I haven't really been riding, can't really ride in the heat and the rain, and I don't know how hot it's going to get today, but maybe at noon I'll take the bike back home and switch over to the truck, because it gets really hot right around 4 or 5, and then the thunderstorms hit, and I want to make sure that I don't leave the bike out in a hailstorm, that would suck. Health-wise, I've been healing up since my surgery back in March and April, and that's going very well. I'm still recovering from my October broken leg on the mountain. Unfortunately, that'll take longer than I want it to, but I'm getting better. Here we go. Watch, I get rid of the Kawasaki and then I, I go off the road on this thing because I'm going too fast. That would be stupid. Don't do it, Mike. You're not even dressed for it. I am out of practice. I have not ridden in a long time. A month? There we go. I took it safely. Oh yeah, this is nice. So, Road Reality had a topic on uh, motovloggers being a rare breed. Thank you for the shout out, by the way. And uh, maybe I'm among the few that still does this. I did notice uh, an old moto vlogger from years ago made a video recently, Ashfoot, A-S-H-F-0-0-T. She was one of the originals way back, 2006, 7, 8. And when she started, she was just a kid. And now she's a mother. She's getting old. <laughs> Downshift 83 is still making videos too. So that's cool. Ah, oh, the farm life. So am I a rare breed? I don't know. It just depends on how many other people are doing this or stopping doing this. I'm still doing it. I might not be doing it as often as I used to lately, but I still plan on making videos and riding and all that. Just kind of bear with me here. I do have that other channel of mine, uh, my Kaylee Sevens musical journey. Uh, nothing exciting there, just me documenting my practice occasionally to see if I've made any progress. I, guess, I don't even know if I want to watch those videos. But uh, if you want to see a fat guy playing a baritone sax or a tenor sax, yeah, go, go there and you'll see that. I noticed that Ichimochi, he's not a motovlogger, he's a motorcycle rider who makes videos about motorcycle riding, but he doesn't actually ride and talk at the same time. Uh, he still makes videos about one percenters and, and motorcycle clubs. That's his, that's his main thing, you know, about what a biker is. He rides a, a 90s era, I believe it's a 90s era Fat Boy, Harley Fat Boy. It's a very nice bike. 
and he's all about uh, talking about the biker life. Who's a biker? What's a biker? Is it good to be a biker? Is it good to be a one percenter? All that kind of thing. And I've evolved out of that, obviously. Look at the way I dress. Look at what I'm wearing. Look what I'm riding. Obviously, I'm not a biker. Not like that, anyway. You can't be a biker when you're on a gold wing. Hell, you can barely be a biker if you're on an ultra. Geezer glide, as they call it. Oh, but isn't this nice? Yep, this is very nice indeed. Let me put on my cruise control and just kind of relax. I do like uh, road reality and ride with no hands for a bit, smoke my fake cigar, do my dance. I'm road reality. Look at me, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I know, stupid, right? <laughs> uh, they say imitation is the serious, the is the sincerest form of flattery. So there you go. I'm here all week, folks. Tip your waitress. Try the veal. Uh oh, look at this asshole. Look at these bike assholes. Oh, there's oh god, they're on a bicycle built for two. Oh man. Double your murder. That's like 40 points right there. Anybody get that reference? <laughs> Do I have enough gas? Oh, I got plenty of gas. I'm good. I got gas last time I was out, or I think. Yeah, I was on that long ride. I went out towards Sanford, I think it was, past Sanford on 42. That was a nice ride. I had a good time that day. But by the end of it, I was hot, man. Oh, man, that heat. And that <laughs> did it for me. That put me in the house and in the truck for the next month. And it ain't getting any easier, right? I mean, we still have all the way until, here anyway, all the way until October before the temperature starts to come back to something tolerable. From October to May, that's when I'm at my happiest. And not even early October, like late October. And for a lot of you guys up north, you're thinking October and the leaves and all that. No, we don't get that till November. I mean, you'll get a couple of trees here and there, but no, you don't get the colors and the, and the leaf thing until November here. Oh yeah, this is nice right here. This is real nice right here. Look at me go. Yeah. This is what, a 20 minute video? Who even knows who the hell's watching? But if you are, I thank you. Don't forget to click that like icon and the bell and the things and do all the stuff. <laughs> I don't make these videos for the the uh, the fame of it, you know, because I am so famous, right? I just make these videos to share my little experience here, and hopefully, you find it interesting. And if not, oh well, can't be everybody's cup of tea. Look at this poor bastard. Oh my goodness. Standing out there in the sun all day. Ugh. That's gonna suck. Used to be me when I was younger. Did you guys hear that the, the earth rotated uh, faster, like a thousandth, uh, one thousandth of a second faster than it's ever rotated in history? Something like that. The earth is speeding up. The earth is like, okay, come on. This is over with. Let's go. Ah. Uh. 
I come in here on the home stretch. As you can see, I'm almost at my job. I'm watching the peoples, making sure. I'll go this way today. Why not? So, uh, yeah, when I'm watching people on the right side or left side, if I can see their tires, I, I don't watch the driver. I made that mistake when I was a new rider. I'd look at the, the, right, the driver's face and try to make eye contact with them. I did that one day. And the person made eye contact, or I thought they did. They seemed like they were looking right at me. And they pulled out right in front of me. Luckily, they stopped just in time, and I didn't die. Obviously, I'm still here. Making boring videos for your sleep enjoyment. Let's do it. Let's do a little bit of practice. Just a wee, wee, wee amount. Wee, 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 all the way home. Scrapey, scrapey. Scrapey, scrapey. Oh, I didn't look into that corner quickly enough. All right, let's do another one. I'll do two of each. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of looking into your corners, you know. Now let's turn around. You like the sound effects? Bam. Look into that corner, Mikey. Yeah. Throttle control is an issue. Out of practice, out of practice. Drag that brake a little bit. There you go. There you go. That was nice and controlled. There you cook it with gas. Where shall I park? I will park right over here. Or will I? I don't know. Maybe I won't. I don't know if I want to park the bike in the sun. Yeah, maybe I'll park elsewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I think I'll do. I think I'll go down here. Anyway, so when I watch the, the cars, like let's say this truck right here, right? I'm watching the tires. Somebody taught me that. Watch the tires, not the rider, not the driver, you know? If you see that tire start to move, then you know. And that has been a very, very good piece of advice. A lot of you already know that, but maybe somebody watching this is new and doesn't know it. And so there you go. Don't look at the driver. Look at the tire of the vehicle. And if you see the wheel moving, if you see the hubcap moving or the tire moving, that is a clear indication. Okay, Mike Kaylee 7 with some useful advice. I'll talk to you later.